People are always asking me, what do pastors really do throughout the week? Today I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do. I'm going to show you how ministry also helps me a lot in business. Stay tuned. I think you're going to learn something today. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, babe. Off to the gym, the place I love and hate the most. I love it when it's over. I hate it when I'm on my way. But it's a place to go. Yo. Yes, sir. What's up, brother? Feeling good. I want you to beat Chris Broussard now. Tell him to stay off the grind. What is that? I'm vlogging. And he thinks he's, crazy as it may sound, he thinks he's good as LeBron. <laughs> and I want that because AD, LeBron like, yo, here. Yeah. AD like, I don't know. He say that to Kyle, Kyle be like, thank you. I, I, yeah, I'm, not, I'm him. AD, he just don't got that. You don't got that, that dog. Because all you need is eight. We got a good 10 right now. We got 10 solid balls. What do you think about Max Christie? I'll take Max Christie off the bench. He played D, man. As long as we got Hachi coming off. Yeah, need him. Max Christie, and so the starting lineup is D'Angelo, D'Angelo, Braun, Reeves, Prince, and AD. AD. Wait, so oh, as long as we got Jackson Hayes. Yeah, you need Jackson Hayes. We got Jackson coming off. We need Jackson coming off. We need Hachi coming off. We add Kyrie to the starting lineup. Bring it, bring him in on starting. Bring D Lo off the bench. So off the bench, you got Hachi, D Lo, and and Jackson Hayes. And then you got and then our our ninth player would be Max Christie. He the ninth. And then of course you can put Tim. I don't even know who that is. Just some some random dude. D League six nine. Need that wingspan. Some six nine cat. That everybody else be finding the cats out of nowhere. How are you? How's everything? Good to see you. We got class tomorrow, right? Oh yeah, definitely got class. Ready for your exam? We got an exam. Wait tomorrow? Yeah. You didn't get the email? I might have got it and didn't see it. I no, I'll check it out tonight. I'm sorry. I'm messing with you. No exam. You're good. No, nah, it's all good. I was just yeah. messing. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. <laughs> shouldn't always play around so much, huh? Maybe I shouldn't always play around so much. It's all good. It's all good. So, got a few things today we're going to do. Start with the listening heart. This is awesome. Shout out to Judy Morrow. It's a really good book. It's like a, it's a journal. Every day it's got like a message prayer for you. So it's really, really good. Every day I'm in office, I got to be honest with you. I get going, what's today's date? November. We got a few things on the table here. There are three things that I do. I'm a pastor as well as I'm a real estate developer. But most importantly, I have a company called Faith Venture. And what we do is we help churches. We help churches um, develop their site. Um, but with that help, there's there's a lot of areas we help them in. Of course, my goal and my partner's goal is to, to help them become more profitable and generate revenue outside of Sunday morning giving only. And I love it. I love it. I love being able to help the kingdom of God in any way possible. So every single day, it's it's okay, what can I do for Revival City Church, Abundant Life, and Faith Venture? So yeah, that's that's every single day. That's every single day. For Revival City, I'm on the phone with Isaiah. He's our Director of Operations at Revival City. And so he's amazing. He helps me lead, lead all of the um, logistical pieces there. And of course, I got to make sure that I'm ready to roll 
on Sundays and, and all that good stuff. Then at the church, at Abundant Life, I, I lead up, I'm the executive pastor here, lead up the school of ministry and uh, provide oversight in a lot of other areas and part of the executive board, making decisions, a bunch of different things, providing oversight there, as well as for Faith Venture, just working on the projects. Obviously, we have a 259 project here in New Brunswick. We're building um 800 unit apartment building with mixed use retail, affordable housing, structured parking. It's awesome. It's an amazing project. So always on meetings with that, as well as helping out the kingdom of God and other churches. We got some projects in uh, Wisconsin, here in New Jersey, New York, and some other states. But obviously we keep those projects confidential. As we move forward, you'll be able to see more about what's, what's on there. So for today, what we're going to do is I got some phone calls to make. We got a big meeting this afternoon with the church, helping them out, a mega church there. After that, of course, my family, we, we all lunch together at uh, 1230 every day. Right now it's 1122. So I'm just stopping by the office for a little bit because the reality is I got everything on my phone. <laughs> you don't really need to be in an office. I got my computer here, but it's connected to my phone. So all the emails, the phone calls, it's all right here. So I'm just stopping in for a second here to just collect myself. So after lunch, got some phone calls and then I got take y'all with me to um, a wedding rehearsal. One of my dear friends, like a son in the ministry. And then we got to run to the city to meet with my business partner um, because we got two two big decisions we have to make. And we like to, to chat over good dinner in the city. So we're going to have dinner tonight to go over some things. I, I think it's vitally important to understand too. I think that as a pastor, I think it's super important that we both be pastors, but entrepreneurs at the same time. I've always been an entrepreneur. I've always was looking to start a business, be in business from selling do scullies. I had this do scully line, skull caps from writing up proposals to do after school programming, summer camps. I'm, me and my wife are always doing something. And, uh, and a couple of years ago when we got into um, real estate and then um, really wanting to take the lead and doing something special here in New Brunswick for our church. It's been beautiful to be able to make a difference in the marketplace as well and to breathe and bring light to, to other arenas. As pastors, sometimes we get so caught up church world and being around so many Christians already, right? They're already believers, um, but it's been great to talk with architects and other developers and, and, uh, different vendors, you know, and all of these consultants that you have to bring in. It's been great to be an entrepreneur and to to learn how to really manage relationships well. And I believe being a, a spiritual leader and it's all about relationships that has helped me translate to the business world and the marketplace to to really focus on being good at building relationships, because that's what it's all about. You don't need money. You need the right relationship. You hear what I'm saying? You don't need money. Yes, you, that, that needs to be a byproduct of a good relationship. You are just a small piece of information away from your life being changed financially. You just need the right information and you need the right people. And so one of my biggest prayers have always been, God, divine appointments, divine connections. God, send the right people at the right time into my life to help. And, uh, and I've been experiencing that over the last 15 years of God just putting, just connecting me with the right people. And yeah, there are some times when relationships, they, they're, they're some for season, right? And it doesn't end bad. It's just like, okay, now we're on another different thing, you know, but every relationship I could just see how I was learning and growing and building, you know, into the person I am now at 40 years old. It's a blessing. It's a blessing and I'm excited and I want you to be encouraged and know and begin to pray, not just for God, I need $10,000, God, I need $5,000, but God, I need the right relationship. I need the right people in my life that will help me create a flow that will change my life. <laughs> What's going on, Gianna? What's up, Gigi? Gianna, say hello. Gianna. What? 
Time for lunch. Come There's on, let's Gigi. eat some lunch. There's Gigi. Oh, I got your Christmas Chicken sandwich, the salad, and the plantain. Yeah, we're here for Christmas. Yeah, we're here for Christmas. Okay. Mm. Lord bless this food you already pray because we help and to our bodies in Christ's name we pray amen amen I need a good lunch oh. alright gotta pick up the Christmas tree while I'm here at my parents house it's so cold alright this is pop this is for me and Neff now which one is which oh boy I don't know which one is which. All right, let's see. Let's grab it. Let's get it. I think this one is mine. Right here. All right, we're back. We're ready for wedding rehearsal. We were here a little early. Now we're back. Okay, uh-uh. People are waiting outside. What's wrong? Smoking in the bathroom. One of the workers here, so they have fire alarm went off. One of the workers? Mm -hmm. Are they, they're going to charge them for that. In here? Yeah, well, he was all connected. So I don't know if it was in this one or this one. Uh, but it, no, he can't see it. Uh, Alright, somebody must have did something in the place. Some fire. Folks are here. Alright, well, happens like that sometimes. It's called a fire drill. It's a fire drill. Honey, it's okay. It's all right. We'll come back in with the fires. There he is. There he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We ready. We ready. Come on, family. Come on. Here's the couple. Here's the couple. Here's the couple. There we go. There we go. We act like it's a picture. Right. I love it. Right. This is so cute. I love this. Hey, Aaron. Hey. Whoa. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> More Lord. Bro, that's what I call her, and Nelson's wedding planner and coordinator. So I will be in, ser in servicing you all guys tomorrow in the spirit of excellency. So what I do expect from everyone that is part of the wedding party be in place. Please don't have us looking for you tomorrow because it does delay what we have to do. And we want to get you guys into cocktail hour, in place. into reception on time. The couple have put together a lovely, lovely, lovely service. Good day today. This is probably like 10,000 likes. Hey, 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 hit it. Hi, right. okay. guys. I'm sitting down. Look. I need 10,000 likes on this video. Good day overall. Great time. Every day. Workout, wedding, rehearsal, the picking up the kids. Hey, hey. All right, we're on a full tank. All right, we're on our way home. It's a good time.